Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. Well, it's been a long time coming, but we're going to move the solar panels. Uh, basically move the whole solar system over. Um, yeah, maybe we should remove these ropes, Tate. There's a rope on that side and a rope on this side. You're not going to be able to take it down unless we remove the ropes. Okay. But you're still going to have to take the ropes off. So anyway, we're uh, we're uh, removing this, uh, dismantling this contraption, uh, and going to rebuild it over here. And we're going to move. Uh, we're just going to move the system as it is. Um, uh, leave it configured to 12 volt keep using this old inverter <coughs> because I if I convert it to 24 volt means put these two batteries in series I uh, can't use one battery in series and those two old batteries there I'm not gonna um, I, I'm not even gonna waste uh, putting those in series and and hooking them up uh, I am going to as we move these batteries, I'm going to uh, dismantle one of those uh, old controllers and hook a couple wires to it. That's the only voltmeter I've got. And um, as these batteries sit, I'm going to take a voltage reading on all of them. They should all be have been charged the same way uh, all day long. <laughs> you know, we're, it says we're at 13 volts. Uh, we don't have many amps coming in. It's actually raining right now, so uh, forty-eight volts, forty-nine, and three point three amps, three point oh three amps. So we've got almost no charging going on uh, in uh, rain. Something. I mean, you know, three amps is three amps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, as we move these over, I'm going to just disconnect them all and um, let them sit for like an hour after dark with no charging going into them and test each battery individually and see what the voltage is. Look, if those old batteries are within a tenth of a volt, you know, a twentieth well, if they're, uh, yeah, a tenth or a twentieth of a volt uh, from these new batteries, that means they're still pretty good. And, and I will hook them all together. But if they're, uh, you know, if I test uh, these batteries and they're, these new batteries and they're at 12.6 volts, and the old batteries are at, say, 12 or 12.1, ah, I'm not hooking them together. So, um, we're going to move that. Uh, contraption and move it over here on the other side because this is still just the temporary system right so what we're going to do is just move that whole thing uh, and put it right here already got the, the posts in the ground the new posts uh, just going to hook it hook it uh, back together just like it just like it is so it's quick and easy here's what I envision guys um, I'm gonna have two so two separate solar systems here eventually right now I don't even really have one but eventually I'm uh, gonna have two solar systems this roof area here on this little building is the smallest roof area so uh, I haven't uh, the the new panels I haven't I can't remember the dimensions off the top of my head so this roof here is all going to be covered in solar panels and that will be for one system and that roof there will all be covered the the metal part the flat part will all be covered in solar panels and that'll be a different system one's going to be for the house and one's going to be for the fish operation uh, aeration for the fish, aeration for the shrimp, aeration for if we ever get back to raising them in uh, cages in the ponds, they have to be aerated. Need a pretty serious solar system to do that. 
uh, pretty serious battery storage for overnight to do that. Uh, the panels, eh. so probably these panels here, uh, this setup will eventually be for the fish side of the operation and the larger area up there will be for the household use. Fridges, air cons, that kind of stuff. But you have to start somewhere, right? So we're just going to move the solar system as it is here. And uh, I had I have mentioned before that uh, we're going to I was going to get one more panel and one more battery next month. Um, I probably am only going to get one more battery and no panels because uh, I've got those panels wired now in series and I want to keep them wired in series so in order to do that I need two more panels um, so that I can hook those in series as well and then have uh, four panels which will you know that will triple the size the output of the system we have now and some so uh, at triple the capacity of what we've got right now we can run uh, that electric pump almost continuously during the day on a sunny day and be able to run a fridge during the day uh, have to turn it off at night uh, but at least if we have a fridge that we can run eight hours a day it will be enough it will be enough uh, to be able to use it as an operating refrigerator maybe not the freezer part but we'll be able to store food This here, uh, depending on the size of the panels, will probably be able to uh, have something close to 3,000 watts up there. Uh, I know I had done the calculations before, but that was calculating with the same size panels that we have now. The, the newer panels that I have been turned on to from Griewatt Solar are, I don't, that's, those are the ones I don't know the dimensions of, and those are the ones that we're going to be eventually using and these old panels here will be for a separate totally uh, separate system maybe for Tata and Gina but the new system will be only those uh, I think they're 450 watt or 470 watt Canadian solar panels they're all going to be the same uh, wired in series with a uh, a better controller than what I have and the inverter that I have this old system that we're moving around right now, we'll just, I don't know, maybe uh, we'll end up giving it to Tata and Gina for them as an emergency backup after we get uh, another inverter and we have this system going. So this system, uh, probably six months from now, will be uh, of sufficient size to run the house. Um, and then we'll, then we'll just totally use this old system for uh, Tata and Gina. And we'll continue to expand this until all of this roof is covered with solar panels. And then we'll start uh, getting panels. Then we'll start getting for a whole new system panels, inverter, controller for uh, the permanent solar on the house. And this here will be changed over for solar for the fish operation. That's the plan anyway. But for today, this is our only solar system. We're going to move this here and uh, keep using it for what we've been using it for, which is uh, charging all our, ga our gadgets, running the computer, and uh, in dire straits, uh, a fan for uh, Marcel and Charlie. Now what I'm also doing today is I'm moving back into the house I've got all my stuff out of this little room here uh, so that I don't have to worry about breathing any of the fumes at night. Look, I, I, I want to get back into the house anyway. So this area, all this here will now be a storage room. Uh, it'll be feed room slash solar room. Uh, all this area here. And so I'll be back in the house. This will be uh, purpose for something uh, better than what it is. Uh, it, it did serve its purpose. It gave us a dry, larger living area while we were getting the house ready. The house is ready enough. 
Uh, I'm tired of having to sleep with those coils. Uh, they, they're not, you know, I smoke, but they don't, they're not doing my lungs any good. Uh, don't have to, all everything's screened in in the house, so uh, don't have to use the coils. That's a big plus. And I'll be in the house with everyone else, uh, close to the CR. Uh, it'll just be all more better, all the way around. You know, I forget who the who the commenter was who was always saying that uh, one of these panels was damaged or something. It, it's not. Uh, neither of these panels are damaged and they both um, put out the same wattage. Uh, they're rated the same and they're, they're within 1% uh, of each other. Tatai, if we can, leave this one about two inches higher than this one so that the panels are like this, a little, just a small amount. Um, not level. I want them like this, like two inches higher on this side. I, I don't know what, that, what angle that's going to give them, but it will uh, pitch them a little bit more. A bit more correctly. I mean, the whole the whole reason for this is to keep them angled at the keep them the best angle at the sun. Maybe that. Uh, that's that's more than two inches, but I think that's okay, Tatai. Just connect it, and it's good. Uh, this way to the left is south, and they need to be uh, angled to the south. I think seven and a half degrees is what Tracy told me. Uh, I think they're, they're going to get an easy seven and a half degree angle here. It'll be pretty close. All right, well, we're getting there. Uh, we've got the panels up here. And we've got all the batteries and the controller and the inverter moved. Now I've got to hook all these back together. But I wanted to wait a few minutes and just let these batteries sit before I hook them all back up together again and do a voltage test on them. Uh, basically a life test to see if they're, uh, especially these two, these two old batteries. These three new ones I'm not that worried about, uh, their condition, but these old ones, 
Look, if these old ones are better than what I think, then I'll hook them in series and I'll hook two of these in series and uh, and uh, hook up the new inverter. Because this inverter, you know, this modified uh, sine wave, the fan always runs on this thing, regardless if it's hot or you just starts or it always runs. And it never speeds up or slows down. Good inverters, you know, they, the fans won't run at all until they sense a little bit of heat and then they'll come on. They'll just barely come on. And as it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, I mean, they, I had inverters that sounded like a jet airplane. And if the inverters got really hot, those fans didn't play around. This one, the, the fans just come on high all the time. It takes a lot of power just to have this inverter hooked up. So if these batteries are in good shape, I'll hook them in series. I don't like doing this stuff in the dark, uh, but I'll hook them in series and uh, just use four of these and the uh, new inverter as well and get it all hooked up in here. Now don't tease Nario about his driving nails. He, at least he's using the correct hand. You and Tata use the wrong hand when you're using a hammer. So we've made a slight design change here to get rid of these ropes. I'd have to use the ropes. Oh, look, I'm tall enough to, to do it to where um, I'm going to have to do the ropes. So, how are we going to get this to come down now, Tatai? Oh, we'll move it backwards some? Okay. So what we're going to do is just put stops, nails, just drive a big nail in, like right here. So when this, so when this swings down, it just comes on a nail here. So it just stops. I'm going to leave these guys to it, and I've got stuff to do inside. All right. Well, I've, I've already, I've already done this, but I'm gonna, if I can get this to make a good enough connection without holding it. So I was uh, pretty dang amazed. Twelve point nine volts or twelve point eight volts. Twelve point nine. That is crazy. Um, it's making me think that uh, it, this isn't reading the voltage correctly. Uh, it's between twelve point eight and twelve point nine on this old battery. Uh, pretty dang amazed at that. Look, twelve point seven is a good battery. Now, now, granted, these haven't been off the charger for, they've only been off the charger for like 30 minutes. Uh, and I should really do this in the morning. But 12.8 uh, for this old battery. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So if these batteries are reversed. I'm going to have to flip these around. Definitely don't want a polarity mistake in this stage of the game. So I'm just gonna, since I still have this little clamp here. Disconnect it here and hook this up right there. So that gives me the negative for that one. And I can check the positive for this one. Twelve point eight. This 
a, I find that incredibly uh, amazing. So both these old batteries are they're reading the same voltage, the same very good voltage. So that's a good thing. So they're uh, one isn't degraded any more than the other. So they're they're still a good matched set. So I'm gonna, I'm going to do the rest of these onto the rest of these. If there's any abnormalities, I'll put that on video as well. All right. See now, this is more of what I expected. So I'm I'm testing this. Uh, this battery and it's reading 12.6 so that's more what I would expect from a battery that is just sitting uh, rather than the 12.8 I don't know why these these old batteries are reading so high um, you know one thing with old batteries easy to charge easy to discharge uh, I don't know if these were just uh, it was easier to get these at their maximum voltage uh, before these batteries, you know, they just didn't, they just weren't absorbing. Uh, they took all they could take and, and, and that's where they are, so their float voltage is, is higher. So 12.6, uh, if any of these others read anything other than 12.6, then uh, I'll, I'll uh, know there's a problem. Alright, so, uh, this one read 12.6. This one read 12.5, and this one read 12.6. <coughs> so I'm going to remove. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the new inverter. <coughs> so I'm going to I'm going to take this one out of the system. I'll be losing uh, probably more than 20% of my amp storage, my amp hours, by removing this out of the system. But based on how that new inverter performs I think I'll be uh, I don't think I'll be I'll be uh, I think the power savings from the new inverter versus that old one will make up for the amp hour loss here that's what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna hook all these up in series and hook up the new inverter all right I am not gonna hook up the new inverter because um, it doesn't. It, it's made to be hooked to the mains of uh, main main power in power out. So uh, I am not going to hook up to the mains here uh, because all those wires have been disconnected, and I haven't run any kind of checks on the wires in the house. So we're going to continue along for tonight, and and however long it's going to take tomorrow um, before I wire in the new inverter. We're just going to use the old setup here just so we have power tonight so I can uh, have power for the computer and the fans and uh, so uh, hooking all this back up and that's the afternoon position all right well we might as well configure it for in the morning so I don't have to hook these ropes uh, I can just let it sit so I don't have to have the ropes for stability well there it is so I'm not going to uh, change the length of this cable not today I'm just going to run it in through the top there tomorrow um, I will I'm, I'm going to shorten this cable up considerably um, people were, I haven't gotten to them yet but people were leaving a lot of comments about because I had mentioned uh, there was a, a wire that was not really hot to the touch, but it was, you know, it was toasty, uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't these cable coming out, uh, it was actually one of these factory wires from the solar panel, uh, and it was pretty warm to the touch, but as far as I can tell, they're aluminum, and uh, even though they're pretty thick gauge aluminum, they're still aluminum, so there is impedance there, um, but I'm not going to rewire these panels. I'm not going to rewire them from their factory. I don't, <laughs> don't want to get into it. Don't want to open up that can of worms. So there it is. Uh, I've got some work to do hooking all the batteries and stuff back up, and uh, we got it done.
Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.